Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number two. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so next up is the second of the licenses. And this is going to be the... Wait, wait, no, it's this one. This is going to be the junior license. So this is slightly more advanced. Uh, again, 10 missions, a graduation course. So let's start with Breaking Basics 3, junior class. Uh, I definitely had a lot of fun doing the novice license so far. So hopefully these are going to be okay to do. Okay to take part in. Uh, but this is Breaking Basics 3. Uh, this test is conducted on the first corner of Tsukuba Circuit. Tighter at the exit than at the entry. This is more of a complex corner than a single corner. If you drift to the inside of the track too soon, then you will end up going wide at the exit. Be careful not to close the throttle or brake to try and modify your racer line as that will add to your time or worse yet cause you to veer off course. To avoid such situations, shorten the distance by coming out of the corner by breaking as far into the corner as possible. The machine you will be using in this test is an Aprilla RSV 1000R factory. Let's go. Let's see how well this Aprilla bike does then. That was all right. Oh, look how close that was to a goal. I feel like we could do that again. Let's go again. Because if we got that braking line much better than before. Worse, big time, worse off. We need to break before our opponent or our ghost. Of course. It was going well. We were ahead by quite some margin. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, not quite getting the gold today. That was like the fastest I was pushing. So, uh, yeah, not quite gold. Uh, so, let's move. I've pressed the wrong button. I meant to press the uh, next test button. Right, so we are here at Breaking Basics 4, held on the mountainous section of El Capitan. This test will give you the opportunity to hone your braking and cornering skills on a downhill terrain. Take extra care at the left corner immediately following the starting point as it's easy to veer off course here. The hairpin curve up ahead is also tricky. Finding the right breaking point won't be easy, so practice until you find what works best. The two left corners that follow the hairpin have different radii, so focus on the acceleration line as you exit the, the hairpin. And I, I lost where I was reading. And find the right racing line to clear these two corners smoothly. In doing so, you should be able to improve your speed control. And we're going to be driving a Suzuki GSX 1100S. Let's go. There we go, a slight lift through there. Massively sharp braking zone there. Oh, that was so close to not getting the silver then. So close. Let's go to the next one then. That wouldn't have been... Yeah, there's no way I'm getting gold on that. Right, next. What is this one? Avoidance 1. Three levels. For this test, there are signs placed on a straight course. As you approach each sign, an arrow will point to either side. The objective of this test is to veer to the appropriate side... 
when indicated by the flashing arrow. Should you misjudge and veer to the wrong side, you may end up riding onto the tyre barrier in front of the sign or hit the wall and fall over, resulting in disqualification. You'll also be disqualified if you overrun the marked goal area. The trick is to doing well on this course is to decelerate and accelerate quickly. Steering rhythmically as you pass each sign with optimal use of the throttle is also a key. We're using the Honda VFR. Right. I have no idea what we're doing. Something about flashing arrows. I don't see flashing arrows. I see a pit sign, but no flashing arrows. Oh, I see the flashing arrows. Yep. Okay, we're going that way. We're going this way. No way. Gold medal. Hey, I'll take that. Hey, J3 with a gold medal. That is cool. Right, what is next then? That was, that was really good. I'm impressed by that. Impressed by my own performance. Okay, so next up is Slalom 2. The Slalom test encountered in the novice class is repeated here, but this time using a Honda CB1300 Superboy. Uh... Or instead of the instead of the Yamaha T Max, by moving from a scooter to a motorbike, not only will there be a change in riding performance, but the higher displacement will lead to higher speeds, making it important to handle the throttle with even more vigor than before. Furthermore, cruising at higher speeds will make it more difficult to adjust your speed with the rear brake. Because of this, the risk of swerving off course or into a cone becomes greater. To avoid such errors, make sure you do a thorough job of finding the best racing line. All right, let's do it then. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, I see what it means by it's quite difficult to control. Oh, 17.1. If we'll give it another try, because I think if we do go flat out and manage to like control much better than that, I think we could get it. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not a chance. I don't think it's actually possible to do that fully flat out. Um, or it is, but I'm just rubbish. So uh, let's go straight to the fifth mission then. Here we go. Come on. Perfect. Slalom 3. The slalom test that was conducted using the Honda CB1300 is repeated here, but this time riding 2 up. The basic racing line remains the same, the same speed control techniques apply as when driving solo, but the addition of a passenger leads to an increase in overall weight, shifting the weight balance. As a result, the machine will not maneuver as easily or accelerate as quickly when you try to clear the cones. To compensate, you will have to turn wider and steer the throttle sooner. Interesting, and there is actually another passenger, which is awesome. I hope there's like passenger missions in this game okay still yeah I can feel it whoa that's much more difficult to steer no way that was only a bronze that couldn't have been that couldn't have been we're going again we're going again Right, here we go. Three, two, one, and we're off. I don't know what that was. I think I w went way too wide and as I was turning. Just too much weight shifted. And we're off. Oh, 
Oh, this is much better. No, oh, so close. So close. So close. Right, one more shot. We can do it this time. This is it. Final attempt. wasn't a cone hit okay well that was final attempt so we're going straight on to the next one then unbelievable how could you do this to me polyphony I feel betrayed right but let's go to number six this is s -Bend. this will test this test will be held on Suzuka circuit where you will ride from the S bend to the opposite bank on a Yamaha FZR 400. You will face four consecutive corners, left, right, left, right. Of these corners, no two will have the same radius or the same approach. Use the throttle to switch smoothly between acceleration and deceleration, going for a rhythmical ride. Note that the last corner is not only a right corner on the op opposite bank, but one of your decreasing radius. Hold back the urge to rush to the inner edge and grip deep. Wait until you are deep into the corner and are sure that you have changed direction before you accelerate. Okay. Let's do it then. I know this first corner is normally quite an easy corner. Got the Yamaha bikes out again. I quite like them, to be honest. I quite like Yamaha. Hey, that was fairly decent. Fairly decent. 21.9. I'll take that. Definitely since um, getting into Gran Turismo 5, Gran Turismo 6 and all that, I've sort of learned about braking lines much more and sort of like where you're supposed to break when cornering and I've sort of gotten my breaking points sort of nailed um, so this is now high speed corner one held on the infamous corner of Suzuka circuit this test has you clearing an ultra fast 130R corner on a Kawasaki Z1000 high speed cornering from speeds of up to 240 kilometers an hour can be exhilarating, but at the same time requires an accurate racing line and great speed control. Okay, so we need to basically look out as we're doing this. Which is totally understandable. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not good. Falling off is not recommended. That was definitely a massive slowdown. Probably slower than we needed to slow down. But still getting the silver medal. So it was acceptable. Very good there. Very good. Giving us claps all around. Alright. On to number 8. Numero 8. Let's have a look and see what we've got to do now. Right, so this is compound corners. Interesting. This is a complex cornering test held on Deep Forest Raceway, where the corners are not only relentless, but feature plenty of undulation. I have no idea what that word means. The corners here are diverse from a high-speed downhill corner at the foot of a tunnel to a blind approach into an uphill corner. The track surface can be rough too, so you also have to be careful not to lose control. As you will be going from one corner into another, all with different radii, you will not have the chance to accelerate in an upright position. Hmm. Sounds a bit unsafe if you ask me, Chief. Right, we're going, we're going. That was very good. I saw that bump and I thought, yeah, I probably don't want to, like, floor it through there while cornering at max speed because we'll probably go splat on the ground. 
26, 27, 28, 29. Yeah, we can take that again. Somewhere, I took a corner really bad. And I think it was actually the uh, corner out of the tunnel. This one. Definitely was not that corner. That corner was perfect. Right, come on. Awesome. We got the acceleration and the traction out of those final two corners. And we got ourselves that silver medal. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Right. On to the final two. We got one more and then the graduation class. Let's have a look and see what this is. This is... Drum roll, please. Du -lu 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 -lu. Compound Corners 2. And this is the spoon corner of Suzuka Circuit using a Ducati 999R. I couldn't read them. The most difficult part of this course is the two left corners with different radii that are preceded by a high speed uphill right corner immediately after the start. The approach to the first left corner has very few landmarks, making it difficult to know when to break. The exit out of this corner then becomes the approach to the next corner. Try and clip the apex, the point in which you come closest to the inside of the track, as far as possible. And use the entire width of the course to follow the basics of an out-in-out -out racing line. Okay. Absolutely rubbish. Ah, horrendous. Horrendous. I instantly knew we were going to crash out because of um, this section here. Went round this corner and the bike was like, nope. I just drifted a bike. And, okay. The fail radius is very slim. Right, so this section I have to do upright. I can't do it unless I'm not upright. There we go. Floor it. Tuck down. 19, 20, 21.007. It's Bond. James Bond. Very nice. Right, on to the penultimate. No. That was the penultimate, wasn't it? Yeah. This is the final one now. Let's have a look and see how it goes. Uh, so here, junior graduation test. Uh, so clear this time trial and you will graduate from junior class. The trial involves one lap around the 3.6 kilometer deep forest raceway on a Morawaki CBR600RR. There's too many letters in bikes that just makes it complicated. Like, can't you just think of a name like Veyron or Murcielago? Something like that. Makes more sense that way. <laughs> Right, let's do this lap. So we're aiming for 125.8. Oh, that was pushing it to the outside line there. There we go, flowing around the corner there. Whoa, that was sketchy. Did not like that whatsoever. We've got this section now, which we had to do like three or four attempts on. We got big time speed through here. We 
go. Very nice. Let's duck back down now that I've have control on this section. Whoa, I saw the bike falling over. I saw the bike falling over. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. How are we so far off? Okay. We were three just under three seconds off. Hmm. Okay, I'll take a bronze for that. <laughs> I don't really want to keep trying that. I've already done quite a few attempts, so I'll take that. I will take that. Plus, we only need bronze to graduate anyways, so here we go. There we go. We have our junior rider license. We're a qualified rider, and our name is Kenny CG. But here we go. What have we unlocked? New riding gear. And self explanatory. Oh, very nice. Okay, let's have a look, see what actually we got from that. Um, because there's quite a lot of stuff. So let's go to the rider gear and see if we can change how our rider looks a little bit. Where is it? Okay, so we unlocked a couple more helmets here. Oh, we got some um, sort of like flame helmet kind of things. I feel like I want to go for the blue colour. Because I... Oh, no. There we go. Uh, these gloves are quite nice. I quite like that. Oh, we have a very nice uh, red sort of outfit now. And we've got new boots too. So we can put some red boots on. There we go. Now look at our rider. He looks epic. I like as well, this has actually got... um. A helmet. The helmet that we're wearing sits in the riding gear. And I'm guessing the garage as well. That's probably the bike that we're riding to. Um, but yeah, that's very good. That's the junior license done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord, and Twitter, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.